Okay, so if you understand basic geometry, well, this will be a very easy question to answer. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and take a look at the problem. It says, if five is added to the length and width of a rectangle, then the perimeter is increased by how much? All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but we do have a multiple choice question here. And let's take a look at our answers. So A is five, B is 10, C is 15, and D is 20. So if you know what the answer is, well, put that into the comment section. I'll share the correct solution in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna walk through step-by-step step how to solve this problem. This is going to be pretty simple. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so again, here is our problem. And we have some terms here, and I'm not gonna tell you what these things stand for just yet, but it says if five is added to the length and width of a rectangle. So you're gonna need to know what a rectangle is. Then the perimeter, and if you don't know what the perimeter is, well, then you're not gonna be able to solve this problem, but five is added to the length and width of a rectangle. Then the perimeter is increased by how much? Well, let's take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer here is D, 20. All right, now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence because you appear to be a certified professional expert in knowing what a rectangle is and understanding perimeter. Because if you understand these two concepts, this should be a very easy problem to solve. And if you're saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm confused. Well, this is not that difficult. And the reason why you might be confused is you just don't understand these basic terms. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. All right, so here is our problem. Now let's suppose you are a math student and you uh, encounter a question like this on an exam or uh, quiz. What should you do? Well, if you're like, well, I'm gonna solve it, but maybe you're like, I just don't even know where to go uh, to uh, start this promise due to math man. Well, then always take a guess, right? Uh, never leave a math question blank unless uh, you're taking a test like the SAT or ACT where you may get penalized for a wrong answer. So just take a guess, right? So you might be saying, well, if five, so maybe the answer has something to do with five. But see, uh, our uh, choices here, um, all these numbers are multiples of five. So, well, I don't know, rectangle. Well, maybe a rectangle has four sides. So maybe it's five times four. So maybe the answer is 20. Well, indeed, that is the answer, okay? Now, oftentimes you can guess the right answer and still don't know why you know uh, the answer is correct, but you got the right answer, right? So never be shy about taking a guess. But what we wanna do here is understand how to solve this problem. And in order to do that, we need to understand what is a rectangle and what is the perimeter. All right, so let's talk about that right now. And again, we're talking about basic geometry. So here is a rectangle. So uh, how would you define a rectangle? Matter of fact, put that into the comment section. Give me a full definition of a rectangle. Now, probably a lot of you um, are going to give me an incomplete definition. Okay, I'm gonna give you kind of a uh, full definition here in just one second, but this is a rectangle. Now, there's a lot of different kind of ways you could describe it a rectangle, but effectively a rectangle is a four-sided uh, four quadrilateral. Okay, and you're like, oh no, Mr. Two Math Man, don't get all technical on me. I don't wanna know about all this crazy geometry stuff. Well, it's a four-sided quadrilateral, okay? Uh, actually, it's a four-sided, uh, matter of fact, let me back up here. It is a quadrilateral, but it's a four-sided polygon. That's what I really wanted to say. So uh, again, we have different ways we can define things in, in geometry. So we have a four-sided uh, polygon, okay? So this is what we have here, and four-sided polygons are called quadrilaterals. Now, what type of quadrilaterals do we have? Well, we have things like squares, right? We have rectangles. We have something that looks like a diamond. That's called a rhombus. You even have things that look like that. That's called a trapezoid. So 
there's a lot of different four-sided figures that are constructed by line segments. And then there's different types of uh, uh, polygons. You have concave, convex. So, you know, it gets kind of fairly complicated. But if I said, you know, what is a quadrilateral? And if you just basically told me, well, a, I'm sorry, what is a rectangle? If you said, well, it's kind of um, something that looks uh, kind of like a square, uh, has right angles, right? The angles of a rectangle are 90 degrees, and that's indicated there. So that's important because if um, we have a quadrilateral that it's like a rectangle that's tilted to the side, well, what is this thing called right here? Matter of fact, if you know the answer to that, put that into the comment section. It starts with a P. That's called a parallelogram, right? So a parallelogram, um, that's one thing, but a rectangle has right angles. Now, what are the properties of a rectangle? Well, there's a few, uh, but the ones that we're kind of concerned about right here is that the opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. Now, congruent is a fancy term just to mean that this side is the same as this side, and this side is the same as this side. So here, uh, and for this particular rectangle, uh, this is two on this side, so that means this is two over here, this is five here, so this means this is five here. All right, so 90 degree uh, angles, and there's even other properties of rectangles that we're not gonna get into, but uh, these are the main ones that we need to know because this is going to bring me to this word right here, perimeter. Okay, so what is the perimeter of this rectangle? Okay, so we have a rectangle, we have all the sides of a uh, this particular rectangle. So this word perimeter simply means just the sum total around a particular figure. Now that figure could be, a, it could be a, a rectangle, it could be a square, it could be uh, some other oddball shape like a maybe half of a triangle, something weird like this. Uh, as long as you just add up the total sum around the sides of that figure, well, that is the concept of perimeter. So in this case, we'd have what? Well, five and five, this is 10. And then we have two and two, that's four. So 10 and four is 14. Of course, we can go five plus two, that's seven. And then five plus two is another seven. So seven and seven is 14. But to calculate the perimeter, you simply add up the sum of the sides. Okay, so now that we understand what a rectangle is and what the perimeter is, uh, we pretty much have everything we need to know to figure out this question. All right, so let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I definitely need your help to reach my goals. And hopefully these are two words that you have in your vocabulary along with rectangle and perimeter. Now, I need um, your help because my goal is to reach as many people as possible and help them uh, with mathematics. You see, as a math teacher, I'm not really happy unless I have students, and the more students I have, the better. And YouTube is a fantastic platform uh, to really, I kind of really think of it as my virtual classroom, but I can't get more people in my classroom unless I get your help. And the best way to help me grow uh, this channel is just to really honestly just to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. All right, so uh, for those of you that need additional help uh, beyond my little YouTube videos and you like my teaching style, well, you may be interested in my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description. Also, somewhere down in the description, you'll find a link to my Shopify store where I offer uh, digital um, notes. So if you like a, you know, something that's printable, uh, some sort of study notes on algebra, geometry, even trigonometry, well, you can check that, uh, check those resources out as well. All right, so let's go ahead, go ahead and get back to this problem here. And uh, now that we understand what uh, a rectangle is and what the perimeter is, we have to kind of think about this problem and not uh, make it any more complex than it needs to be. So if five is added to the length and width of a rectangle, so we're gonna add five, right? So five is added to the length and the width of a rectangle, then the perimeter is increased by how much? Okay, so really we have a lovely rectangle, okay? And we're gonna add five to the length and width. So basically we're gonna add five all the way around. So do we really need to know the full perimeter? No, we really don't need to know the actual perimeter of this rectangle, okay? All we know is that we're gonna add five to each side of this, uh, whatever the numbers are, right? So let's suppose, let's go back to our other example here, other rectangle, which 
we had, what was five and two. So let's just, actually, let's take it from here for a quick second. So if we add five, we know the perimeter is what? Well, the perimeter here is 14, right? So if we add five, we're just gonna add five here, add five here, add five here, add five here. So the perimeter is gonna be increased by how much? Well, five, 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 and five is 20, okay? So the question is, how much is the perimeter going to be increased, not what is the perimeter, okay? So if five is added to the length and width of a rectangle, then the perimeter is increased by how much? Well, it's just 20, right? So five plus five plus five plus five, or five times four is 20. All right, so hopefully most of you uh, already kind of figured out, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, you know, you over explained this. I, I saw, you know, how to do this problem. You know, that's fantastic, but a lot of people, you know, may may have been confused, right? This problem can be a bit confusing, confusing, excuse me, especially if you're not quite sure what a uh, the perimeter means and uh, what a rectangle is. And as you can kind of see that, uh, you know, in, in mathematics, especially like in geometry, there's very specific definitions to things, right? So, you know, a uh, rhombus, a quadrilateral, a polygon, uh, you know, parallel lines, these things that we kind of, you know, uh, take for granted, like, oh yeah, I know what that is. Well, there's a lot of properties, especially like triangles. Take a triangle, for example. A triangle is a three-sided polygon, okay? Uh, triangles is a huge topic, not only in geometry, but in trigonometry. So this little simple figure right here has a lot going on in terms of properties, formulas, et cetera, et cetera. Matter of fact, it's a big part of what you study in geometry and trigonometry. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.